Um, hello, and um, we're Habeas Corpus, and this is um, our project. Um, can we have the and, and list of participants have the next slide, please? And so the challenge that we're um, facing is that there's um, a lot of software, and we'll care a lot about software, but there isn't a, a, an easy way for us to find out what the comprehensive software lists are around, um, and there's not repositories uh, that are established in the same way um, as extensively as they are for data and other um, outputs. And so this obscures the time effort that we have on this. And so how can we build better um, and value the software that we have if we don't know what is there? So, and this is a very important issue. It, it affects um, stakeholders across the research community, um, including it enables people to start doing research on research software, which would be a new, um, sort of a new and emerging field. Um, it can enable you to do research decisions about what software to invest in, um, how to lobby to maintain that software and where people should spend their time developing different softwares um, of course different academic communities um, this enables people to work out where they should um, develop training materials like what training people will need in the future and so it also enables people to find um, software that's outside of their networks rather than just rely on word of mouth and also uh, by looking at the software and the licensing it has and what is involved in it, you can work out how fair the software is and whether it can be done to improve that or what issues need to be So the next slide. So um, we worked as um, a team throughout. Um, we first of all started by sharing what we, why we chose the project and what our strengths were and what we wanted to get out of it. And um, this included opportunities for people to develop um, new skills. Um, we used a wide range of um, tools um, and we split up the tasks with, um, between, the, uh, between the team and also there's opportunities for myself who, who I don't do coding. Um, and so that was also great. And we had a good time. So I'll now pass over to the next speaker. Sure, I'll keep this really brief. So um, our approach began looking at the um, uh, CORD 19 data set, which is structured data set. It uh, maps um, uh, the titles of papers to software that's been mentioned in it and a machine learning NLP algorithm has been used to do that. Um, so we began by kind of um, sampling this data with some scripts um, and then use that to kind of launch a qualitative analysis and um, do some um, initial data set cleaning. Then we um, began working towards some more um, bits of software that could identify um, GitHub URLs from software mentions in our, in our CSV. And also, um, um, automating the extraction of um, software licenses from um, um, GitHub, GitHub URLs. Uh, so can I have the next slide, please? Um, so yeah, there's a number of challenges we encountered, um, mainly around um, developing the metadata um, given that our data was quite noisy. So the original NLP algorithm that had been used to generate our CSV had identified quite a lot of incorrect software names. Um, so there was quite a lot of manual labor there to correct it. Um, but I think we formulated now some, some um, feedback to give to the authors of that um, paper. Um, so on collaboration, um, we had to like agree on metadata fields and formats. We had a modular approach and we use GitHub issues mainly. And um, our code is licensed um, under MIT license and, um, uh, um, and then a documentation under CC and the same, same with data. And got a video demo next. <laughs> Yeah, please start the video. So part of our analysis is available in a reproducible environment, which is runnable on mybinder.org. So we provide the Jupyter notebook, which opens automatically if you will click on the launch binder button in our repository. And it also can be runnable as a slideshow using the Jupyter extension called Drys, as you can just see. And uh, we are building some plots, including the word map, which Sami now will present on the next slide. So next sli slide and over to Sami, please. Okay, yeah, so for those of you who are interested in what came out of the data set that we looked into, um, this word cloud is an example of some of the software that was um, mentioned in the data set. And if we could go to the next slide, we can investigate the top 20 software. So everything shown in orange is proprietary software. Um, Blue was not proprietary software, um, but even looking at the top 20, 
um, we started to notice issues. Some things were duplicated. So for example, MATLAB all in uppercase and MATLAB all in lowercase, both featured in the top 20. Um, and you can see in red there, there was actually something that wasn't even software that made it into the top 20 mentions, which leads on nicely to what Neil is about to tell us about. Thanks. So now I get to cut Neil off. Oh no. Look That's up right Gorgon STDs. That's what we found at the software data set. <laughs> Thank you so much.